Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. Today we're talking about how to work with bitumen roofing. If you haven't subscribed to Sealed for Good, please remember to do so now. So how do we work with bitumen roofing? Well, bitumen roofing, asphalt roofing, it's one of the oldest technologies that are out there. We still see it often these days. It can either be in a bitumen liquid coating, it could be a bitumen sheet membrane system. But bitumen, although can be difficult to work with, it is there is a way of getting over the bitumen roofing if you have it on the surface that you need to get onto. Now, if it's a liquid membrane, you will often find one of the common traits of bitumen is it bonds just about to everything. So it's got very high adhesion properties. And unlike other liquid membrane systems, when you start to remove it, you never get rid of the whole surface. There's always a residue that you leave behind. And that's the same with sheet membranes, torch on sheet membranes. The primers that have been there have been bonded to that concrete substrate, then the sheet's heated up, it's bonded to it, and you might remove the actual sheet membrane system, but you've got this bitumen residue. Now, those of you that have been exposed to this, you'll often see that when you get back to that bitumen residue that's left on the concrete, it looks active. It's like soft, sometimes shiny, because that's how long bitumen lasts. It it lasts forever, and those primers can still be active, particularly with solvents, if it's a solvent-based system. It's important that you get back to the substrate as best you can. If you can grind and get back to the original substrate and remove all the bitumen roofing or bitumen coating, that's the ideal situation. If you find it's an application where you can't, or you may have a situation which we've been exposed to before where there could be old bitumen sheet systems that have got asbestos in there, and you may have a client that says, look, you know, I just need this to be covered over, I'm not wanting a warranty, then you would use a priming system over the residue like the Grips at E60 or the 11Y slurry. Again, always test your primers first. So I would do a test patch, leave it there for a day or two, observe if there's any reaction. Now the reactions you want firstly is adhesion, good bonding, and the second one is bleed. And bleed is when the bitumen actually bleeds through that primer and comes up onto the top surface because if it does that, there's no chance you're going to get any other liquid membrane or sheet membrane without any impact from the bitumen. Now, those two primers normally will avoid that, but it's important to test first because you never know what you could be up against. There are so many different bitumen systems that have arrived into the country over the last 50 years. It's important that these are never treated the same. Once you've identified that, you've got your primer down, that's working, then you can put your system of choice down, whether it be one of our sheet systems, our liquid membranes, then you do the detailing, but this is the important part because it's not a matter of just pressure cleaning and thinking I've got the surface clean. That bitumen residue, 99% of the time, my experience shows is always active and very important. Cover that and ensure that you're going to have no adverse reactions from that bitumen coating into your new membrane system. Gripset do have specifications for this. If you'd like any more information on it, call 1-800-650-435 or get any of our team out on site with you to help you specify which system and how you'd approach your next bitumen roofing project. Until next time on Silver Good, I'll speak to you then.